husband should not be jabber and cruel for the women i am husband i am husband and i am husband this thought is just pakistani indian and bangladeshi thought i beg pardon from sheikh <coughs> muhammad abdul al ansari our brothers pakistani people and sheikh al jasbal so they should be very kind to their wives lovely attitude very accommodating attitude very accommodating very lovely attitude be should be very soft and always they should take care of their good and joyous wishes they should take care of their health they should care, take care of their good life their needs they should love them they should support them they should help them this last thing i beg pardon from almighty allah practically this is an act which i don't have so much in my life so almighty allah may not catch me under this sin lima taquluna ma la tafalun so i am telling you i am not hiding practically i don't do practical things in kitchen if they do some work in kitchen helping their wife this is an ideal i am not ideal in this aspect but this would be an ideal thing now sometimes i do try to do i take some pots and cups and 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 things and plates from the table and put there thus to do sunna so i do my bed just as much as very very little as I can. this is just a joke to say this is no help anywhere but helping your wives in life in cleaning in kitchen in other things this is not against something the against the shan of husband <laughs> allama ash shaykh ishfaq alam al qadri <laughs> and allama ash shaykh junaid alam al qadri and allama al hafiz afzal said looking he is looking behind <laughs> said what abdu said this is to help your wives and live like partners Almighty Allah has given you the title Zawj, and Zawj means partner. Live together. And Holy in Almighty Allah said, "Wala hunna mislul lazi alaihinna bil maruf wa alaihinna daraja." You have only one daraja because you feed them, you fulfill the duties. Nafaka, sukna, all financial and other duties are fulfilled by the husband in Islam. except this aspect of daraja one daraja and what we do we achieve 1000 daraja on the wife allah says daraja lirjal alayhinna daraja one daraja one manzil and what we do we try to have 1000 daraja on them and we want to put them in our feet this is kufr and jahiliya this is to be very kind to them is the islamic more these are the rights there and the rights of wives they shouldn't be harsh to their husband they should be obedient they should also be very kind they should be very cooperative they should also keep prefer the wish and preference of their husbands because almighty allah has made open the doors of paradise for the women this is ibadah for them to please their husbands but in lawful jaiz not against the sharia aqam almighty allah is pleased if they please their husbands and the doors of jannah are open for them this this is for them to obey them to protect their rights in their absence to keep protect their purity to protect their haya to protect their property to be loyal to them to be sincere with them don't spend anything from their house from their property from their wealth from their money in a hidden way without his permission or at least with the consent these are the days of consent both should know each other she can do khairat and sadaka but not without telling and without consent of husband so they should live a very good life with a like partner then they should she should they should respect he should be kind and loving and caring for wives 
and wife should be very loving and very respectful and cooperative for their husbands. I think this is sufficient. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and they should be, they should always live in a way that their husband should protect their taqwa because of their wife. The wife is a fountain of taqwa of the husbands. They should please them. They should please them. They should dress up in a way. They should live in a way cleanly, nicely dressed so that their husband should be happy and pleased with them and their eyes always remain in taqwa because of their wives. They should keep their houses good. And this cooking and cleaning, washing the clothes and the cooking and dusting according to Sharia is not the duty of wife. If they do this, this is a son on their husband and their husband should be thankful for this act. Now Allama Ishfaq Alam is down. <laughs> and Junaid Alam is down. And Allama Saeed, Abdul Saeed is down now. They are down. But if they refuse, when they go back, they say, we can't wash your clothes, go take to the laundry, this is not our duty. We can't cook for you, we can't do dusting. And this is the whole war, the whole fight, the war against terror. The husband has become a terror. My clothes are not properly washed. I tell you, wallah, in whole of my life, 25 years maybe, or 30 years of my matrimonial life, eh, 25, 30 years, I have never said a single word that today, uh, the, the salon, the, the whatever is cooked, the, the salt is more, or it is more chilly, it is not tasty, or if uh, when I came late and nothing was left, I never asked why, is there anything, so whatever was there, even if there was bread and water, I would eat with water. In my whole life, I have never become angry on these things, because I know if my wife cooks for me, she is doing a son or me. This is not her duty. If the clothes were not properly washed, I never say, why? This is not her duty. She can say no, and this would not be disobedience. This is her a son. Should, we should be thankful for these things. Now, when, when our, this part of the uh, you can say al hidayah when they go back they should become just thankful for their wives on cooking on washing and dusting that's why they are performing this for you so you should also cooperate with them and participate with them this is a very specific mentality of our people that they think as if a right they should do why this was not done then they become in jalal the husbands come in Jalal. My dear brothers, be husbands of Jamal. Keep Jamal. Holy Prophet ﷺ was a human being full of Jamal. Be kind, be soft. And understand that many things which your wives do for you, according to Sharia, are not with their, not their duties. They perform you just as your partners. If they perform you as your partner, you should also take care and participate with them and help them. And the very important thing, the wife should not be disrespectful for the husband. This is a very significant commandment of Sharia. Almighty Allah will give them higher grades of Jannah and paradise because of respect to their husbands. The secret and why this is known by Almighty Allah. The best ibadah for a wife is to please their husband. Best ibadah. Even best, better than tahajjud. Better than offering the nafl. When I said this, our brother Sheikh Abdul Ansari has become very happy. He said, Suman Allah. <laughs> On this point. Because this is the only point which he is going to tell to his wife. He <laughs> were doing my khidma is better than tahajjud. He is going to do a speech. <laughs> uh, his sons are also here. They will tell the rest.